Hey, what's up everybody? This is Keegan here and welcome back to my channel and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And welcome back to a brand new episode of Keegan's Movie Reviews, a series where I review movies and give my opinions on them. This is Season 1, Episode 11, Movie Review Number 11. So, today's movie I'm going to be talking about is one of the most bizarre movies I've ever seen in my life. And at the same time, one of my favorite movies from last year. So that movie we're going to be talking about in today's video is Midsummer. This film was released in July last year, and it was written and directed by Ari Aster, who also directed Hereditary, which I highly recommend you check it, which I highly recommend you check that movie out. I'll probably talk about Hereditary someday, but for now we're going to talk about Midsummer in this video. But like I said, I'll probably do my review of Hereditary someday. So anyways, let's talk about the movie itself, shall we? So, this film follows a young couple named Danny and Christian, which Danny is played by Florence Pung, and Christian is played by Jack Reiner, or Rainer, however you say his name. But anyways, Danny and Christian are a couple that is struggling and on the verge of falling apart and probably ending. But then one night, something really, really terrible happened to Danny's family, forcing them to stay together. And then the film flash forwards a couple months after the incident with uh, Danny's family. And Danny is all traumatized and tore up after what happened to her family, which I don't want to spoil what happened. But uh, it's one of the most, uh, this movie has one of the most screwed up opening scenes I've ever seen in a movie. But then anyways, one of uh, Christian's friends invites him and two other of Christian's friends to Sweden. And then Christian decides to invite Danny along with the trip to Sweden. They're going to Sweden because Christian's friend that invited Christian and his friends and Danny to go to Sweden. They're going to this village where Christian's friend is, where, well... Christian's friend is from this village in Sweden, and they're going to this festival that the village does every 90 years. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity on experiencing. So they go to Sweden, they arrive at the village, and the village seems innocent enough, full of friendly people, and, and it's in the woods, there's no cities close by, just a, nothing but cabins and stuff like that. Just what you expect in a village. But then when the festival start, this is when things start to get a little twisted and weird and disturbing and too many other phrases for it. The festivals revolve around all these really bizarre and gruesome rituals. For example, there's a scene where... I'm not going to try to spoil too much of this movie. I'm just going to say this one scene. There's a scene where... These two people have to go up on a cliff and everyone else has to watch them. They all have to jump off the cliff and basically kill themselves. And uh, this movie has a few gory moments. And I will say it has very good special effects on the gore. Well, it's not too, too gory, but it does have some very good special effects on the gore. And um, there is some like really, really weird stuff in this movie. And I did go see this movie in the theater a few days after it came out back in July. And I and I didn't see any trailer for this movie before this movie even came out. I just went to see I just went to the theater seeing it without seeing a trailer for the movie. I was pretty much clueless at the time for what this movie was about. And when the movie was over and the credits were rolling, I remember walking out of the theater and thinking to myself what did I just watch? I've never seen anything like this in my life. But uh, this is definitely one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen in my life. And when this movie came out, there are some mixed reactions behind this movie. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Well, it's a, another one of those love or hate movies. But uh, this is definitely one of the strangest movies I've ever seen in my life. And this movie is, I recently did watch it a second time a month ago before I made this review. But uh, 
After watching it a second time, I still really enjoy it. This is definitely one of my favorite movies from last year. I had a fun time seeing it in theaters. And um, it's weird. It's disturbing. It has one of the most disturbing opening scenes I've seen in a movie, like I said before. And this is a movie you should check out for yourself to see what... Like, this is a movie you have to see to believe. Like, you'll probably be like, what the hell did I just watch? And others were like, eh, it was stupid. Now, it's not for everybody. You might like it, you might not. But some people say Hereditary was Ari Aster's better movie. But I like both movies together, Are Hereditary and Midsummer. I'll probably talk about Hereditary in a future episode of Keegan's Movie Reviews. But uh, I don't really have much else to say about this movie other than I really, really enjoyed it. It's definitely on my list of my favorite movies of 2019. Which I'll probably make that video on my top 10 favorite movies of 2019 video maybe sometime soon. Maybe within a couple weeks. I'm not sure though. But uh, if you haven't seen Midsummer, definitely check it out. It's a, it's a really, really great movie. And it's a really bizarre movie, too. But overall, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's definitely one of the most underrated movies from the last decade. And definitely one of my favorite movies of 2019. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. So the last thing I want to give is my rating for this movie. I'm going to rate this movie an 8 out of 10. So that's it for my review. But uh, thanks for watching this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, please leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. What are your thoughts on this movie? Let me know in the comment section below. And try to avoid giving out spoilers when you're giving your thoughts on this movie. And uh, if you would like to check out my last review, which was on Uncut Gems, the link to that will be in the description. And my next review will be on Marriage Story. That review will be coming soon. And one more thing before I end this video, I just want to say that my top 10 favorite movies of 2019 video will be coming out soon, in a, in a couple weeks, I'd say. But anyways, stay tuned for that. So, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, please leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.